When I was in school, I didn't really participate in sports much, so I kind of missed out on getting my own letterman jacket or varsity jacket. But now that I work for a company that makes awesome products that allow me to personalize things, how about I decorate my own letterman jacket? Hey everyone, I'm Joe with Caesar North America. Welcome to another episode of the Decoration Zone. In this episode, I'm gonna decorate a couple fleece letterman jackets with various Caesar HDV. Stick around. So our friends at Sammar hooked me up with a couple of these awesome Sport Tech fleece Letterman jackets. And I get the question all the time, we hear it all the time, can Caesar HTV be applied to fleece? I say, if there's a will, there's a way. If you're thinking about applying Caesar HTV to a fabric you're unsure about, it happens all the time. But you may want to test it out first under the heat press before applying your transfer. So it's good to test it out around 285 degrees on your heat press at a medium pressure. You could press that for a few seconds. And if the fabric looks good, you want to gradually increase your temperature until you get to the appropriate temp we recommend for that Caesar HDB. So for today, we're doing a couple different applications. For the first one, I'm working with this graphite heathered letterman jacket. Um, so what I did was I decided to use Easyweed Electric Tungsten and then Brick 600 White. And now I like the idea of the Easyweed Electric Tungsten on this graphite heather because I want to see that tone on tone. And then with the Brick 600, it allows it to give that pop to the design. So I haven't tried this one before, so this is going to be a first. So I have the jacket already onto my press. I have the buttons off of it, so I'm gonna be decorating the back as of now. So I wanna make sure my pressure's set. And since I'm working with both Easy Weed Electric and Brick, I'm at 310 degrees on my heat press to split the difference. So the first part of the application is laying down my Easy Weed Tungsten. Easy Weed Electric Tungsten, that's right. And now normally with the Easy Weed family, you know the one second tack. So I could tack that for one second, peel the carrier hot, and go on to the next layer. But since Easy Weed Electric is so thin and Brick 600 is very thick, I'm gonna apply the Easy Weed Electric for the full duration so this way is properly bonded. This way the brick doesn't take away the pressure that Easy Weed Electric needs. So I'm gonna apply this for the full 10 seconds. Feel that hot. And now I'm gonna lay down my brick piece. Now I'm gonna press this for a full 20 seconds. Now brick is a cold peel, so I'm gonna to wait to peel this carrier off. There you go. All right, so typically for a letterman jacket or a varsity jacket, you have your logo on the back, you have a left chest and a sleeve. So that's what we're gonna do next. So next I'm gonna do the left chest 
Same process using Easyweed electric tungsten and Brick 600 white. And then on the right sleeve, I'm gonna do the same process with Easyweed electric tungsten and Brick 600 white. Let's get started. All right, to apply on the left side of this jacket, I have buttons in my way. So you wanna make sure when you set it up on your heat press that you take the buttons off. And obviously we have to deal with these. So in order to avoid hitting these buttons with the heating element, I'm gonna use a heat press pillow and tuck it inside the left chest of the jacket. But now I need to make sure that my pressure is good. All right, so first step, I'm gonna lay down my Easy Weed Electric Tungsten and apply this for the full duration. Now I'm gonna lay my Brick 600 White directly on top. Now I'm gonna apply this, apply it for 20 seconds. This is a cold peel. It's not cold enough. Have that. Now we're going to move on to the right sleeve. So to get to this, I'll lay the sleeve across the heat press. I'm still going to use my heat press pillow. And then to find the center, I'm gonna line it up with the shoulder of the jacket. Brick piece. Cold peel. There you have it. All right, so for the next project, I wanted to go with more of a flashy business type jacket. So I decided to use two different glitter colors, one black glitter, the other black silver glitter. Now these two were cut in the knockout method. So this gives the illusion of two colors of glitter layered on each other, but they're actually both applied to the jacket because what do we always say? Do not layer glitter. Let's get started. All right, first things first, wanna make sure my pressure is good. Looks like we're good to go there. Now, when you're doing the knockout method, 
You want to lay down your first layer. I like to use the bigger design first and then work into the smaller pieces. And now with glitter, you can tack this for about two seconds. Feel hot? All right, so now I'm gonna lay my next layer directly inside that knockout. Looks good to go. And now I'm gonna apply both of these for the full duration of about 15 seconds. Hot peel. Oh man, that looks sweet. Whew, look at that. Now we're gonna do a front. So we're gonna do a name tag onto the jacket. Same thing as the other one. We're gonna do a left chest. I'm gonna take the buttons off here. I'm gonna use a heat press pillow. And then adjust my pressure. Good to go. Now when you do the knockout, if you're looking for placement, you can, the good thing with the sticky backing of the glitter is you can line them up to make it look like one transfer to find your placement. So if you wanted to, you could start that way, or you could do it the other way. It doesn't really matter. But make sure you peel off the other layers. Now we're gonna press this for one, one to two seconds. and apply this for the full duration. There you have it. Name tag.